uh, just wanted to get your thoughts. Um, you now being, seems like you're now the face of the franchise now, uh, especially with, from the marketing standpoint and everything like that. Um, how much is, has your role changed um, with the departure of Candace Parker and uh, Chelsea Gray? Um, you know, I don't really like to consider myself as the face of anything really, you know, because it takes more than one person to win. Um, but of course, in media, that can be uh, the buzz and conversation with all the changes that we experienced in free agency. Um, we have a lot of new faces. We have a lot of familiar faces on our team now, too. Um, we have plenty of championship experience with the veterans that are on our team. And we have a lot of young players who um, have years behind them and, and know what this level takes. And we have really hungry rookies as well. So I have to say that the... Um, the energy is really fresh, of course, um, but I think it's also, uh, it's a competitive environment that we're in right now and, and we really wanna be there and stay there and contribute that to also having a lot of fun. Miriam Swanson, LA Daily News. Hey, good morning, Neka. Um, I want to ask you about uh, 144, Shanae's documentary, and, and uh, she, she mentioned that she uh, got you to wear, wear it, be mic'd up for, for different points during the bubble. Um, wonder how those conversations went and, and if you've seen it and what you think. Yeah, so um, I definitely have to say that it's going to be exciting for people to see, you know, what we were able to capture in there. It's funny because I remember the conversation that I had with Shanae when I got to the bubble. I was like, see, someone needs to be in here videotaping this. Like, it has to be documented. Um, and she was just like, say less. And she had a crew in there in a matter of days. Um, and throughout my time in there, of course, I got to know the crew a lot. And I was mic'd up for, for, for much of what wasn't happening on the court. Um, and we had some really special moments in there that were captured in the film. Um, and Shanae's really been, this, is, this has been a big project for her. I was asking her last night if she would ever executive produce again. She said she would. So I'm, I'm really excited for you guys to see what, what it looks like. Uh, there's still some finishing touches being put on it, but um, the amount of progress we were able to make and it, for it to be depicted and that story to be told, um, it's, it's really amazing. And I can't wait for everyone to see it. Go over to Rashawn Haylock with Spectrum Sportsnet and KTLA. Hey, Neka. Hi. Um, as a as one of the leaders on this team, how do you handle you know sort of the outside noise? Um, you know the naysayers, uh, people that have already counted you out before you know even game one. Who's saying that? It's been written written about uh, you know the roster and and how you know. You, this team has lost a lot in terms of, you know, with, with Chelsea and Candace leaving. And um, what, how do you sort of respond to that? Obviously, I don't know what you're talking about. So uh, that's my response. Like, I don't know what the naysayers are saying because I don't pay attention to that. And I try to encourage my teammates to do the same. Honestly, I can't answer your question because this is news to me. We'll go over to Erica Ayala with The Athletic. Hey, Nick, I appreciate your time today. Um, I have one question that I'd like to ask you about this roster, and then if you'll indulge me one for Sports Illustrated, we're doing a WNBA 25 piece. Um, for this roster, it's been said by Amanda Zowie B a few times that she's really looking forward to uh, working with you and, and being able to master a few things in her game that she thinks will elevate her to the next level in the WNBA. What have been some of your um, in interactions with Zowie and, and how do you see her fitting into this LA Sparks team? Um, she brings a lot of personality to the team, and I think that's something that we always love to have. Um, I definitely think as a spark in my 10 years, personality is something that we've never tried to um, diminish in players coming, and we love that. She, she's very comfortable in her own skin and her own capabilities, and she wants to get better. So that's been much of my interaction with her. Um, I love that I, I love that I can learn from her. You know, I don't limit myself to learning from players with more experience than me. I try to learn from everybody and I can see her being a, a teammate like that. And quite frankly, our strongest memories of Zali B as Ellie Sparks is her dropping 30 plus on us on a couple of occasions. So I'm happy to have that be on our side now. 
<laughs> yeah, she's already put media on notice that she's happy to return the favor to New York. So, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it seems like she likes being a sparkle, as she says, which I love. <laughs> um, the other question, as I mentioned, is um, uh, you and your sister have a unique uh, circumstance as both being number one draft picks from the same household. Um, I am just curious what you remember first of, of your draft experience and then what was that like to see Chanae's experience? Um, what's funny is I actually remember Chanae's experience more than mine um, because it's not oftentimes you get to go through that twice. So the second time around, I was really immersed in it. Um, what I remember most about my draft experience was that it was on my mom's birthday. So I was happy to give her a really great birthday present. And um, I was just really excited to start that new chapter of my life. And quite frankly, you know, I'm a Texas Californian. You know, I've been, in, I've been in California since I was 18. And so LA just felt so natural for me and it's been home since. And I, I, I plan to keep it that way. So that was really my experience of me being drafted. And, and then Chanae's of course, um, was a lot more excitement and and just kind of like in the moment type of feelings because we were all so new in my first experience. So when Shanae was able to get drafted as well, um, it was really amazing for her to see see it through her own eyes and and also to get drafted um, in in the market directly in which the draft was being held. I think that was also really special for her for her too. But um, I'm glad to say that since then she's ended up in LA. Thanks, Erica. We have time for one more with NECA today. We'll go to Michelle Vogel with ESPN. Hey, NECA. Um, I'm wondering, I know this is so early to, to ask this question, but with sort of a different look with the Sparks this year, what comes to mind to you as being like maybe one or two of the biggest strengths this team is going to have this season? Yeah. Um, hey, Michelle. Nice to, nice to talk to you again. Um, I'd have to say that our biggest strengths are definitely gonna be our room to grow and to absorb um, with, the, with the range of players that we have on this team. Um, and I think with that, if we're speaking, you know, just strictly ball, I think our speed is gonna be something that really uh, contributes to how we play and how we play well. So I look forward to seeing how much more room we have to grow, whether it's learning through the system that Fish has us in or through our vets, and even adapting to how our now younger players play um, and that being shown in the speed at which we do play and, and defend. 